All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back um, to talk about Invincible. This is Invincible Season 2, Part 2, Episode 2. This is a non-spoiled review, but we're going to kind of gush about it. I have back again, Busy and Ronan and James. What's going on, gentlemen? Yo. Wow. Wow. Size wow. make charges. Yeah, they they left off on a really huge cliffhanger the last episode because we didn't know whether or not the star creatures were going to, like, kill anybody and then rex blow literally had a gun to the back of his head presumably two of the other guardians were already dead and so we just didn't know how it was going to end and they immediately from jump started right from they left off and i could not believe the execution of how they handled that um again another great rex explode episode i don't know how in two episodes they gave him so much more depth as a character mm-hmm. While at the same as that time maintaining stakes for the show as an entirety, um, this is just a really good episode because I didn't know what was going to happen, but at the same as that time, they still kept to making us surprise, making us laugh. Like, there's never been a moment, at least these past two episodes, that we haven't been entertained. Um, so I was going to see if you guys could talk towards it without spoiling anything. I just like how it starts strong, and yet once the the strongness eases up a little bit, it doesn't doesn't mean it dips. It just it just stays with people after the fact, and you as the character are collecting your thoughts, your emotions, and I love that. Nothing felt too funky in the middle. Nothing felt too slow, too fast. It felt right, and um, uh, again, if you're a, if you're a fan of the books, you'll be happy. And if you're not, then hopefully you take it just as much as an engagement as for those who probably know the story ahead of you. And um, kudos to everybody, Sandra O oh, as as um, as um, Deborah, uh, De- Debbie. No, Debbie, yes, yeah. Debbie. It's it, it, that's that angle is so it touches me on a personal level. Um, but that, that I just adore what she's doing with the role and to see what Steven Young has been doing with the mark and what that character has been going through and the people that surround him on a daily basis, how everything thus far that I've seen has felt earnest and nothing feels out of place. And I'm just hopeful for what's coming forward, even though stuff goes down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, busy. I mean, thought? We start off really strong, uh, considering the way last episode uh, kind of ended. Uh, They really did a good job with kind of, like, having us asking these questions. But then they give us a whole nother question because something happens (laughs) right away. That just blows my mind and blows someone else's mind, too. But it's just, like, one of those things that I'm just trying to... I'm just all over the place with, dude. Like, I had so many questions... Of course, there's so many characters that are feeling so many emotions. We're seeing characters that don't often f- show these emotions. And so a lot of different characters that we aren't really focused on are getting some development, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, it's it's just been really cool to see. And that's one thing that I've really admired about this so far is that they're really like they're they're fleshing out some characters that we haven't really dove into too much with of course there's a lot of characters that they can do that with uh that they haven't done yet so i'm waiting for that to happen but they're just slowly building up to some some great development with certain characters and i've been a big fan of that yeah i mean robert kirkman shout out to him as far as his writing because the the thing that he stapled with the walking dead is never believe that anybody's safe and there are some losses that happen in this episode Um, There's some emotional losses as well. Um, And yet they find a way of showing like Mark overcoming everything. Like he's trying to overcome like his relationships. He's trying to overcome the PTSD from basically the causes of his dad. And at the same time, he's doing the right thing. Like he's protecting people, whoever he can, he's trying to figure it out to try to help. Um, And it's just, somebody said years ago that this is one of the best superhero stories of all time. Yep. The way that this is going, if they keep pushing on the gas, I can see where we're going, that this is possible. Um, And I'm, I'm all the way there for the ride. It's just, there's so many different characters, but I actually care about every single one of them. And so when something happens to them, you're trying to pivot and be like, well, please, God, don't kill them. 
You know what I mean? Like, I think that every single character, you feel that way. Um, what was the character um, that has the glasses? What's his name? Character uh, with Donald? Yeah. Even mm-hmm. Donald. In the past two episodes, they've given Donald so much more meaning and mm-hmm. weight. Um, and yet, I don't know where his character is going to go. And I think mm-hmm. that's exciting. And after this episode, I mean, um, they really kind of gave us a... A little scared because I mean he's uh, clearly a little unstable, if you will. But um, I just have a lot of questions. I'm curious, and I'm just I'm worried. I don't know. I'm really hoping he can snap back into it, but obviously with the trauma that what happened to him brings, it's it's a little worrisome. Yeah. Um, when poor Ronan comes back, the thing that scares me about this show is that there's some. There's some deep seated dark stuff that's already happened in just the first season, right? So yeah. that's always a placeholder. You never go full tilt bad until it gets like a certain little bit of time mm-hmm. has passed. For sure. And so it scares me what characters are going to come up, what scenarios are going to come up that are going to truly break. Yeah. Up. Yeah. And I, I'm fearing for the worst because there's a lot of different pain that people deal with. There's trauma. There's uh, emotional pain, and then there's other things, and I, they've explored a lot of that already in a short amount of time. Um, so I don't know. As Mark gets older, and things like him having like from last season to him having like a whole brother, and him having to reconcile what that means because of his dad's actions, mm-hmm. you know, like that's a small amount of time. So what more can happen? I think that's the thing that's. It's kind of my pivot with this, but not yeah. I mean, um, there's so many things that are kind of happening uh on the sidelines so far. I mean, I've been a real big fan to see how they're building everything. Yeah. Uh of course, uh Alan is a character that I've been waiting to see for a little bit. And uh, you know, of course, there being some news between him and uh, you know, of course, him bringing the news to Invincible that he's not alone was something that was kind of interesting to me, especially after they revealed that in the last episode. I was extremely interested to see what they were going to do with that. And, um, yeah, so it's just been, it's been, it's been cool. I don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, let's, let's round this out. Uh, closing thoughts on this episode in letter grade. I'm going to go solid a for me. Um, it's not one of the, best episodes of the show i don't think maybe it is i don't see it right now but as, a, as of now like i can't i'm not saying ah could have done better good but to me i'm like i am engaged keep it going with with what you're going to do for the next few episodes and i wonder how people are going to take seeing both parts back to back as to how how it was presented to us in the first season and how much i think to me as of now it kind of might have helped waiting for the time period to, to, to sit with these characters. That way when you come back to them in part two, you're you're back then and you're not missing stuff and you're like you feel the weight of time between them. Um but then again I don't know but I, I just love how you felt the stakes and how yeah man that um you feel you even not even just the stakes you feel the repercussions and you're just hopeful that things get better. But you know how invincible goes it does you know yeah, no, for sure. Um, busy closing thoughts in that degree. I want to give it a B plus, A minus. I mean, I have like I'm so ready for more, but um, I don't know. I still have a lot of questions. I am just waiting. I'm waiting for more. It's just I don't know. It's just a matter of just waiting to see what they do next. Uh, this episode really got me hyped at the end of it. Um, overly hyped for something that isn't even that important. But um, that's the thing that the show does. It just kind of drops in little things, and it's it just gives you a lot of like WTF moments. And uh, I'm sure that you guys will appreciate some of these uh, in the upcoming episodes. Yeah, not nah, for sure. And for me, uh, a a to a minus. Like I thought it was it was executed really well. It started off with the bang, it ended with a cliffhanger, and I'm just excited to see the rest of the season at this point. I need the next episode. That's what I'm feeling. Um, but uh, Busy, where can everybody find your content, man? Busy Brown, we're going to be dropping our reactions over there, uh, not only with me and Sam, me and Ronan, 
really excited to have these two boys a uh, part of the the channel and all that stuff so it's gonna be really cool to continue doing that with not only this show but other stuff in the future um busy reactions on instagram and uh yeah thank you so much busy and ronan where can everybody find your content you can find me at Ronan Unchained on YouTube, on the socials. Um, best believe I'm going to be covering the hell out of this. And um, I've been playing with an idea of maybe covering stuff on the comic book level. Maybe they're doing shorts of stuff people might want to read. So if you're liking what Invincible is doing and you're liking what Robert Kirkman has done or what comes off from these these books, let me know yeah, on I'm the channel. Fun. Subscribe to it. And uh, yeah, let's see if that might trick an idea or not. Yeah. Those vi- those videos would look good on TikTok, Ryan. Yeah, TikTok, man. TikTok and Patreon. But anyway, <laughs> for another day, we're going to go. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell button. Go and check out our full non-spoiler review of Season 2 of Part 2 of The Visible. Talk to you guys soon. Peace, people. Filing out the top of-